What's up YouTube? Ever wonder what to do for fun in Guangzhou? Well in this video, I'll be walking you through the spectacular experience you can have going to Qimelong, which is a famous amusement park in Guangzhou. Coming up! Now a little history about Qimelong, also known as Changlong, it started as one of the largest zoos in China. It is known for its huge safari parks in which you can ride a trolley or even your private car if you pay a little bit extra. And of course, it's home to the famous panda triplets. You can tell that as soon as you walk into the zoo, that they are the center theme of the attraction. Now this is a great place not only to go as an adult, but also to bring your children. And it's actually pretty affordable and very easy to get to. It's also good to know that the amusement park has three sections. It has a zoo, it has an amusement park where you have like roller coasters and stuff and like activities and shows. And it has a water park. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to go to the water park, so I'll be going through the zoo and the amusement park. Now, first things first, I'm gonna show you how to get there. It's actually really convenient. You just take the subway, take line three, and from my station, which is a Guangzhou Tower station, it might be like three or four stops. It might be labeled as Changlong or as Dongwuyuan, which is the zoo in Guangzhou. And literally, right when you get out of the the subway, you're right at the park. Like it's very convenient to get there. It's not like in the US that you have to get like a shuttle bus from your hotel to go to the amusement park. It's super convenient. Now let's get into the zoo. So this zoo is not something to be underestimated. It is on par or close to that of like the facade that you experience in Disney. And I, this is coming from someone who's used to live in Miami and went to Disney many times in Orlando and Busch Gardens. So I've had experience with my amusement parks. The first thing you may notice is that they have their own safari park. So in this safari park, you can take the, the public route, which is just taking a, a trolley that goes around, but you're limited to the time they stop and they go a certain attraction. It's kind of up to the guy to control the flow of your experience in the zoo. There's another option where you can drive your private car. Unfortunately, my car didn't have enough gas at the time, so I wasn't able to experience this. But when I did ask the staff, they said it's around 300 RMB to take your car at your own leisure and stop at any stop that you want to in the attraction during the safari park. So long as you don't get out of your car. You don't want to get out of your car. These are wild animals. It's home to the famous white tigers and white rhinos, regular tigers. They're all there and you can see it at your own leisure if you take your car there, which is pretty cool. And of course, you can't forget the triplets, the panda triplets. So when you come to China, I don't know if you know, but the animal of China is the panda. Not only is it one of the rarest animals in the world, China was also generous enough to share this animal with other zoos around the world just to preserve it and make sure it doesn't go extinct. Unfortunately, I waited for a long time and I could not seize the moment where I could see like a baby panda sneezing and scaring the mom panda like in the viral YouTube video. <laughs> but besides that, it was pretty interesting to watch. You can kind of get the whole backstory of how the triplets came to be and how they were bred and how they're being taken care of in the zoo. Now apart from the safari zone and the triplets, you can also experience the, the typical feeding stations you do at zoos. Like when I used to live in Miami, we went to the zoo there and there's certain stations you can feed the animals directly. And during certain time of the day, there are events held where there may be like lion tamers or some people that want to interact with chimpanzees to make them do some tricks. You can also see that, which is pretty cool as well. Now I want to finish off the zoo experience with the Jurassic Park they had in there. You know, at first I was kind of skeptical. I'm like, okay, what's this going to be like? I didn't know what I was going into, but it was actually pretty interesting. And there were dinosaurs hidden everywhere. Of course they were the robotic kind, but they put a lot of work into it where they'd like hide into the environment and they might like come out and like spray you with some water. You know the dinosaur with like the big fangs that spray you with like acid in Jurassic Park. It was pretty interesting and very funny to watch. They definitely got me wet, got me by surprise and I definitely filmed some people getting wet too. It was a great experience and I would definitely take my kids to this place. It was, it was an awesome event. And before I actually left the park, I took advantage of a free trolley ride which is Pretty much an electronic trolley that goes around the whole park. So you can see the Safari Park, you can see uh, the Swan Lake, you can see the Triplets Park, and it's all very gorgeous and beautiful scenery that you can experience all in the air. So now I'm going to discuss the second part of my adventure, which is the amusement park known as the roller coasters. Me personally, I'm an adrenaline junkie. I used to jump out of airplanes for a living, so like I really like the feeling. And I wanted to see like the scariest roller coaster of them all. One thing I'll recommend for you guys is that when I went, 
My brother was coming to visit from the United States and we went during a school day when it wasn't vacation time. It was empty and there were no lines. Whereas if you were to go during like summer vacation in China, during a weekend especially, yeah, it's gonna be crowded and you may either have to buy the fast pass to enjoy the rides or just wait like two hours for one ride, which is like, come on. But apart from the roller coasters, there are plenty of events there. You can just look at the map at the entrance and then they show you different times of events and maybe like some performances that people have. And there's a famous circus that's usually at nighttime. Me and my brother didn't have time to go to it. I heard it was really renowned throughout Guangzhou. Now the only downside I would say about this is that you're kind of forced to go through like the shops after you finish your roller coaster ride. I know it's like those little boutique shops where they take a picture of you and it's like you're like oh, scared of the ride and like hey you can buy this stuff and some of the little gadgets there. I mean it's a business so like I don't blame them but it did get kind of annoying after a while. But as for the rides you can see some footage here. There were probably three of them that I actually thoroughly enjoyed. Um, I've been through plenty of rides in my life and the ones that make my like heart sink are like the ones that are most entertaining to me. There was even one my brother wouldn't, wasn't willing to ride with me, which is like the drop for life. Luckily, I was able to sneak in my phone to get footage of one of the rides. This one didn't have loops. I didn't have the courage to bring my phone with one with loops because I wanted to keep my phone and not lose it and, and hurt someone. Don't worry though, if you want to buy tickets, I can leave a QR code on the screen or I can write a link in the description down below if you're interested in going there. So in the comments below, let me know if you've been to Chimelong and how your experience was. If you want to see more content like this, I post on a weekly basis, so please consider subscribing and hit that like button if you found some value. Anyways, I'll see you next time.